also their families that are graduating from high school that will be making their way here. Their moms and dads that will be moving in here. Their single students, their couples with young families. And so we're going to have wide uh, sidewalks so that they can push those baby strollers you know, down the way here. So a whole spectrum. There'll be people here that are even seniors. And uh, Lou and Will and their team are designing in some special places that even I might be able to live here and be uh, taken care of to get somebody to change my catheter to two point and so forth. So we'll have the whole spectrum that's here thanks to Lou and Will and John and an incredible array of very, very talented architects. Uh, we want you to know that we've gone all over the country and even outside the U.S. to find some of the brightest, smartest, most cutting-edge minds possible. I like to call them some of the real wackos that are out there, and all the good sense of the word, the most saney, off-the-wall kind of folks that are helping us design the most unique blend, or even, we talked this morning about even a quilt of texture and color and fabric and on and on that we're intentionally building into this incredibly diverse uh, culture. It's the most inclusive community imaginable is what's been being brought here. Uh, this morning we had a gardening clinic in our home and one of the uh, individuals that provides the plants for across the street even told us the story of having a pot, a marijuana plant that's having to be shipped. Uh, it was a fake one, by the way, and it was so real that it was detained by the drug enforcement agencies. And I said, you know, if I didn't get arrested, I would say that that pot plant would be very be befitting Tywood Forest right next to the tattoo parlor that we're putting over here. So I hope nobody from the Sheriff's Department is going to arrest me here. But it really speaks almost really to the diversity of people that are that are going to be here in this area. I'm just kidding. Don't don't quote me on Facebook about the Fox Lab. I just I got off the script there. So like the guy said, Lord please please forgive me. So anyway, on a more serious note, I'd like to ask you what in just a moment. Uh, it's been our practice as a family and as a business to, uh, to do a dedication prayer uh, as we do different uh, parts of, of, uh, of our business that's grown now for 71 years uh, with my dad. And he told me a lot of things. He didn't teach me how to grow hair very well, but he told me the importance of reverencing the Lord, acknowledging the Lord in all the things that we do, whether we're selling chicken or we're building homes. And so in just a moment, I'm going to lead us in a word of prayer. And I would ask if you would, in your own way, uh, maybe you have a prayer of thanksgiving. Uh, maybe it's a prayer that you want to ask God's blessing on your life. He invites us uh, to ask Him to bless our lives. I can assure you the meetings that we have here, and we start those meetings, most meetings, with a word of prayer. Maybe even a scripture verse that we might have that's here. And why is that so important? Well, Solomon said, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, he says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. The wisest man that ever lived said, I want you to realize you'll never be smart enough. Your IQ, you can have so many degrees they call you Fahrenheit, but you're still never going to be smart enough uh, to be able to figure life out. But he says this, In all your ways, if you'll just simply acknowledge the Lord, then he'll direct your path. How many of us here would love to have more of God's direction in our life. Wouldn't it be incredible to have since God's divine direction on our life? I'm so glad that our treasury prince and God we trust on all our Federal Reserve notes to realize that we need to trust in the Lord. So let's pray for God's safety here. Just two weeks ago, we had the tragic, tragic, fatal death of one of our workers across the street building one of our warehouse buildings who had a harness on, but he wasn't strapped in. I hope all of us are not only have the harness on, but we're strapped in. And I'd invite you to please pray for the safety of our workers here, that we need to be strapped in. We need our safety belts. We need our safety glasses. We need our helmets and so forth. And uh, so pray for the safety of the thousands upon thousands of workers that will be here uh, over these years to come as we build the facilities here, the hotels, the restaurants, the performing arts center, the medical and all the other things that are planned here for this area. So would you join me in prayer? And uh, it's our custom to, that our outward appearance is an expression of our inner heart. So I'm going to take my hat off and bow my head and a uh, symbol of, of honor and humility.
humility uh, before a living God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that even in the marketplace that our forefathers gave us the privilege of acknowledging you, to be in a, a free country that allows us to worship you freely uh, in our own way. And so we pause to give you thanks that you have provided the, the means and the vision, most of all, for being able to build a special place. As we read in Isaiah, that we are to build for the people, prepare for the people. And so we're doing that right now. We want to prepare for the people whose lives will be impacted by the experiences that they have here at Pineland Forest and by the community that embraces people from around the world that are already moving here to Fayette County, our beloved county that we love in, that you placed us in. And not to be just enjoy the place for ourselves, but for the purpose of being able to use this as a lighthouse. May we be faithful to let our light so shine before men that they'll see the excellence of what we do and that their hearts will be turned towards you. And for the work of reconciling us back into a right relationship with the lover of our souls. Thank you, Father, for this day. We pray for the safety. Thank you for the beauty of this moment and experience that we can treasure forever together. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, thank you. And so we're going to go over here and uh, we got Spider-Man. Five, four, three, two, one. 